And folks, coming off of that game that Tyreek Hill, we all know what happened prior to the game, the police incident where he was stopped going to the stadium. Uh, whatever the details are, we'll get into that in a second. But as the guys were saying, JB, these numbers are impressive no matter what. Seven for 130 and uh, 12 uh, targets. Hey, he did his part. After the game, it was our Melanie Collins who got an opportunity to talk to Tyreek Hill. Tyreek, you just had a moment with your kicker, Jason Sanders, after that 52-yard game-winning field goal. What'd you say to him? I was like, Jason, man, all hell Jason, man, because Jason is the man. You know what's crazy? Before he even kicked it, I was already walking into the locker room. Because I already know what time it is. That's automatic Jason, man. You feel me? Tyreek, it's been a roller coaster of a day for you, starting on the way to the stadium, a day filled with adversity. How would you just describe your mindset coming into this game today? You know what, man? I, so when I left home, I told my wife, I was like, babe, I'm going to go to work, and, I, and I'm going to get prepared for my day. Little did I know, that was a, quite a surprise on the way, man. But you know what? At the end of the day, dog, I got a job to do, and my job is to come inside of this stadium and be great, dog. So. What did it mean to you for your teammates to join you this morning and show support? Bro, I love that. I was fired up, dog, to see Joe New, to see Calais, you know, right there in the heat of the battle with me, man. That goes to show that, man. It's more than it's more than about football, dog. Like, the brotherhood that we got outside of just football is amazing, dog, because those dudes were, like, really risking their lives for me. You feel me? So, shout out to Joe New, shout out Calais, shout out to Drew Brooks, shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to my mom, too. My mom got out the car and go South Georgia, you feel me? Shout out to Mon Dukes, too, you feel me? <laughs> Tyreek, what happened this morning? You know what? I'm not going to comment on any of that, man. Like, whenever stuff come out, we, we, we the just... best in the nation. We the best in the nation, man. But look, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to comment on that. We're just going to let bygones be bygones. Move on and learn from it. That's it. Appreciate the time, free Tyree. Congrats on the win. Free my dog. Hey, free cheetah. Hey, free cheetah, baby. Slap. So while Tyreek Hill would not comment on any specifics there to Melanie Collins, the Miami-Dade Police Department did comment specifically by stating afterwards, following the incident involving Tyreek Hill, I have initiated an internal affairs investigation to ensure a thorough review of the matter. One of the officers involved in the incident has been placed on administrative duties while the investigation is conducted. I'm committed to transparency and accountability to the community with any situation involving my officers. That was from Director Stephanie Daniels of the Miami-Dade Police Department, Matt. I mean, this is exactly like the PGA Championship and Scotty Scheffler going out there and <laughs> shooting a 66 after being arrested, uh, pulling into to the facility. I thought at the time, when I was watching the golf, that this could never happen in the NFL, but mm. then lo and behold, it happens today. You see him talking about it afterwards, and J.J., you talked about this in, in our pregame show. It, it was about the teammates and how you were pumped that they were there for him, and then you heard him kind of speak on it afterwards. Yeah, you That's what see, it's all about. You can see what that meant to him. Obviously, Calais Campbell, John U. Smith, they're showing up for him, and obviously none of us know what happened out there, but right. to him to be able to go out there, put it behind him, compartmentalize, yep. like you said, yep. and for his teammates to be there to help pick him up, I mean... 130 yards and a touchdown is a pretty darn good day for any receiver. It seems to be more and more common for Tyreek and clearly wasn't distracted today. Yeah, when you look at his numbers, um, one number specifically stands out to me. That's the 12 targets. The reason why it stands out to me is because Tua Tungavailoa went to him. Right this is him. your number one wide receiver who just went through something before the game. And his mind could have been anywhere. But he got into the right frame of mind to play football. Like he said, this is my job. I got to show up and do my thing. But the fact that Tua threw the ball to him 12 times means I'm going to get you involved. It, it, I, I don't know how you're feeling right now, but I still trust that you are the best on the field, which means I'm going to get you involved in this game regardless. And it helped out because that big play at the end, that was the one that really got the team jazzed up. So um, you could just tell that this unit is tight from top to bottom. Yeah. Even early in the game, the biggest thing you wonder about is a guy's emotional state, right? With what he went through this morning, and you like to think he can compartmentalize that. But there was an overthrow early in that game where Tua had him, and he overthrew him. And all Tyreek did is he got up and ran back to the huddle. And you just thought, you know what? He's just going to play this game. Yeah. Well, it's almost like it was a, a humbling type of thing that almost drove him. And you said before, sometimes you can, these type of things can make you into another state where it can maybe a, 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 a compromise to what you're trying to do. Yeah. But it also can be a great thing that can also help you take it to another level. Yeah. We saw Scotty Shuffer do it. Yep. And I think today you saw Tyreek Hill do it. You know, I mentioned this to Nate as well, too. We were talking about it in the context of news. While we're putting this in the context of football, and I get it, without delivering any commentary, the problematic aspects of it, 
being handcuffed, for sure, put down on the ground, yep. and now at least we get quick reaction from the police by saying, we believe in transparency and we will get to the bottom of this in essence. That's a good thing for all the right reasons given everything that we're dealing with in this country as well, no too. Doubt.